what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new my name is dipped in black also known as kettle today we are going to be doing some makeup of course always we always play in makeup here I had received a gift from BAM the other day that I was very very excited to share with you guys and see if it even works I guess I just I guess for next time for Halloween we are going to be putting on Tiffany makeup I don't know if a lot of you all know about this but there is a Chucky season out right now <laughs> Yes, I said it. Yes, I did. Chucky season, a new series of Chucky. It is only on season one right now. It literally, it literally came out like a couple of months ago. I believe there's gonna be ten. No, no, there's gonna be ten episodes in total, if I'm not correct. Maybe eight, and if not that, twelve. I'm guessing. Like I read, I was I was so excited about the show. I read about it like uh like when it first came out, and I didn't really pay attention, sadly, to how many episodes for season one that they were gonna have. But they're on episode seven right now, and when I tell you, it is intense. It wow, it is very intense. I don't want to give you give away too much information. But, it's like a continuation from the last Chucky movie. So, I got the box open. For the first thing, let's pull out something easy. It is Tiffany Matte Lipstick Matte Lip Cream. And it says Chucky. That's the first thing. I'm about to look like Black Tiffany up in here. You guys see my hair? It's blonde for this occasion too. Next, we have some eyeshadow, and it only comes with two colors, black and red, or like black and this burgundy-ish type color, so you guys can see that. Got black eyeliner, pencil eyeliner. We got some blush. I really wonder how this is going to go because I do not wear blush at all. It comes with black nail polish. Now that's nice. I'm definitely gonna put this on. Yeah, I wonder if it's a nice bold color. Cause you know how some nail polish can be a little bit watery. It's like a little bit too transparent. Uh, we got a little false tattoo that says Chucky with a heart on it. Hey. And last but not least, what comes in the kit. This is so cool, this is cute. It is a Tiffany necklace that says Tiff. This is adorable. I'm gonna put this on right now. We gotta envision it. We gotta manifest. We are Tiffany. We are Tiffany. Sadly, it does not come with foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of my own makeup to include with this so I can do a full face. While we're putting on this foundation, let's go ahead and talk about the Chucky series that has been going on for the longest. And in episode one, you pretty much start off with your main character. His name is Jake. And he's going around to yard sales to pretty much pick up some pieces and parts and anything that he can find to add on to his art sculpture. Jake is a artist, yes. As he gets to the yard sale, he notices a Chucky doll. Oh, he notices a Chucky doll. 
he ends up purchasing it from this lady and taking Chucky home. I'm not going to tell you guys everything that happened because I want you all to go and watch the series for yourself. But I'm going to give you like a little gist of what happened in the first episode or everything that I remember because I'm pretty much, I'm all the way up there. So it's been a minute since I rewatched episode one. But he takes Chucky home. Right? Later on that evening, apparently... Jake's family stops by the house because they are having dinner at Jake's house. So his auntie, his uncle, and his cousin are coming over. And they play a very important part in this series. So you might want to pay attention to these people. So when dinner starts, they get to arguing at dinner. Would you give it a rest? He's 13 years old, he doesn't know what he is. Um, Jake's father ends up drinking. There's clearly some type of tension going on between um, Jake's father and um, his uncle and their family. I guess he probably feels like, I would say the unc Jake's uncle's family, I would say they're probably up there, like when it comes to financial status, they're probably, they're a little bit on the rich side, I would say. And Jake's family, him and his dad are more like middle class so his dad seems to be kind of jealous of his oh jake's dad and jake's uncle are brothers so that's where the relation comes into comes in but jake's dad seems to be jealous of his brother i guess because you know money mm, money problems so pause the Chucky kit is supposed to be for the bride of Chucky, so technically the Tiffany doll, not Jennifer Tilly, the actress. So, sad to say, but looking at the Tiffany picture, I do not have Tiffany eyebrows. Her eyebrows are very, 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 very thin. Um, I could do this look by simply gluing it down and putting foundation over it, but that's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my own eyebrows with the pencil that they gave. Oh wow, this pencil's actually doing something. Very surprised, Spirit Halloween. After everybody leaves, Jake goes upstairs to his room and finds his father destroying his sculpture that he's been working on for the last couple of months. He decides that he's gonna go ahead and resell Chucky because he found out that Chucky is actually worth a little bit of money. So he can restart to restart to um, make his sculptures make his sculpture again because now he needs money to get all the stuff that his father just destroyed while he's at school Jake is getting bullied people think that Jake is this weirdo he's also apparently gay you're gonna you're gonna find out he's also gay and the kids in his school know this and they pretty much tease him about it um Jake's cousin does not like him they are definitely not seeing eye to eye and Jake's cousin's name is Junior Junior has this girlfriend girlfriend named Lexi and Lexi ends up asking Junior oh like what's going on why are you selling the doll do you need money like I can give you money and pretty much instigating that oh Jake's broke he's poor you know and from then on she just gets worse and worse and starts to tease him she ends up making a GoFundMe page and the whole school ends up laughing at him and he ends up bringing Chucky to school with him to hide it from his dad he ends up asking the teacher to keep Chucky because Chucky won't fit in his locker alright putting on the 
eyeshadow. I'm gonna do the red first. Burgundy. Chucky is noticing everybody that's teasing Jake. <laughs> and you know. Best friends till the end. Of course, Chucky is just stacking up his list of everybody that he's gonna potentially kill later on. The school day ends. And Jake is now home. So I'm gonna skip a scene because we're getting close to being done. Mm -hmm. And apparently this week of school the talent show is supposed to be like tomorrow <laughs> or like the next day. And Jake end up, ends up going to the talent show and Lexi is on state, stage, Junior's girlfriend, is on stage getting really ready to call the next act. And in the gist of her in trying to introduce the next person, she starts picking on Jake, the main character. She starts picking on him, talking about him, and basically is about to tell so-and-so's parents and everyone that came there that Jake is pretty much gay. She has no right to do this. This is none of her business. Like, she's just a straight-up asshole. Like, for real, this chick, this chick's character, straight-up asshole. Chucky, whoop, 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 is magically sitting behind Jake in the audience. Oh, my gosh. And he calls Lexi out. And he's like, hey, come on, Jake. Let's go up on stage. Mm -hmm. So him and Jake... Is on stage playing, trying to pretend like he's a ventriloquist now. And Chucky has Lexi's cell phone magically. And he starts going through Lexi's cell phone, calling everybody, calling her out and all her whatever she's doing on there. Boom! Boom! Here's Lexi's search history. She's into Pokemon porn. Letting Junior know that she's, Junior, Lexi's cheating on Junior. And then, um, he also talks about other people on stage, and since he's doing all this, the principal gets upset, and they end up kicking him off stage, and it's like, okay, that's enough. It's time for you to go. And <laughs> Chucky ends up leaving, calling everybody assholes. Mm, it's, a, it's a hilarious scene. So when Jake gets home... He finds out that his, the principal had called his father and it's, he's now suspended because of the routine that he just did, talking mad smack about everybody. And Jake's father is drunk off his ass. This is like the worst time for him to be drunk. And he ends up pretty much kind of like trying to fight Jake and it's just like, bruh, you know, or like beating him up because Jake thinks his dad is upset that everybody thinks he's gay so after the fight ends the dad is trying to take chucky away from jake while talking while fighting with him and talking to him and jake's like no don't take him blah 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 and you know it got so bad to the point where jake was like you know what fuck it i'm just gonna go upstairs to my room and lock my door uh, because he already knows what's gonna happen we all know Chucky is making his plan right then and there to do something to Jake's father. I'm going to go ahead and stop talking about Chucky, the first episode right there, because like I said before, I want you guys to go watch it. So let's go ahead and finish this makeup look and get this video done.
Honestly, I do not know how to put blush on, so my first time ever, I'm gonna dab that a little bit, get some of the powder out, and I'm just gonna go in. All right, everybody, this is the finished look. I know it's not the best. <laughs> I am not the best at makeup, but I am the best when it comes to my own makeup. <laughs> so let's go ahead, I'm gonna take my hair down. You know, we got Tiffany, Tiffany blonde braids. See how this looks before I change into my Tiffany outfit let's talk about the makeup let's talk about how I felt about it let's talk about how you guys feel about it what it looks like on my face so first things first I'm gonna talk about my least favorite product in this whole entire makeup kit what I did not like the most is probably going to be the pencil eyeliner um, it did great wonders for my eyebrows, but when I tried to put it on for like regular eyeliner and like for my my waterline under here, it didn't even show up. It it's not very bold. It's literally just for your eyebrows, and if not like a lip liner, so I, I didn't really like it too much. It's not like what I usually use. The next thing after that, my second least favorite item is going to have to be the eyeshadows. The burgundy one came out pretty, pretty bold. It really did. But the black one, it came out nice too. But as you guys can see, like around my eyes, it was very dusty. Like I have like all of this going on over here. And it's not really opaque enough. It's not really like a bold black. It's literally kind of just for like literally dusting. But the burgundy, oh my gosh, the burgundy actually came out really, really nice along the outer rim of the black eyeshadow. So that's a yes, no. The second best thing, because there's only four items in this box. So the next best, the next thing is the blush. I do not know how to use blush, but I think I actually did a good job with it, putting it on my cheeks. I believe that's what blush is for. Um, the consistency of this was very powdery, very powdery, <laughs> very powdery. <coughs> Excuse me but it was very opaque like it actually i'm you know i'm brown i'm not, I'm not like dark brown or anything i'm like caramel a little caramelish and it showed up really nicely on my cheeks i was very surprised at that um yeah so this was actually really good and the last thing which was my favorite thing out of the makeup items is the lipstick the lipstick is get is just everything it's bold look at this look at this it's a little bit tacky because you know matte matte lipstick dries um but this is a matte cream so it's like it's matte but it did it's not fully dry um so it's not too bad i feel like if i was to like kiss my hand it might come off yes definitely see yeah but it's a very nice color i like how it went on it's not um too messy 
I feel like, yeah, this is probably the best product out of the whole entire box. It was the matte lipstick. Ah, uh, yeah, I like it. Let's go ahead and get dressed into my little makeshift Tiffany outfit. If you like today's video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you aren't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Click on the bell notification so you guys know every time I drop a video. Other than that, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh.